what is the worst thing that a person could be doing during a time like this when there is an outbreak of a virus of some sort? Is it, for example, coming into contact with someone who has the virus? Is it to be on the receiving end of someone's sneeze? Is it to visit areas that are busy with people and highly congested? What is the worst thing that a person could do during times like this? And to answer that question, I take you to the words of An-Nu'man ibn Bashir, the companion of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who said, Inna al-musibata kulla al-musiba an ta'amala bi ma'asiyati Allahi fi zaman al-bala. He said that the real meaning of destruction and ruins for a person is when he commits sins during times of prevailing adversity. He said, this is the meaning of destruction. This is the meaning of being ruined. When there is a calamity that is widespread and nevertheless this person is still insisting upon his crimes and his secret sins and the rest of it. Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, the scholars, they offer us a general rule, which is that when there is a outbreak at a large scale, or a calamity that affects the masses of people, this is to be taken as one of the clearest signs that Allah Jalla Jalaluhu is calling humanity back to Him. There is something He wants us to pay attention to. And that is why Allah Jalla Jalaluhu, He said clearly in the Quran, فَلَوْلَا إِذْ جَاءَهُمْ بَأْسُنَا تَضَرَّعُوا وَلَكِنْ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Why is it not Allah said that when our calamity came to them, they didn't humble themselves. But their hearts became hard. Allahu Akbar. So the Quran gives us two camps, two ways in which people respond during difficulties like this and outbreaks and the rest of it. Either you have a group who turn to Allah in repentance and amend their ways, amend their private relationships that are haram, amend their financial doings that are displeasing to Allah. They speak out against ills in society. That is one group who see the signs of Allah in a calamity. And then you have another group who are qasat qulubuhum. Their hearts are hard. Choose, dear brothers and sisters, which of the two you would like to be part of. And change your narrative. Everyone today is speaking about sanitizers and things that you need to take in terms of precautionary measures. Make the focus on Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. Because when we focus on a problem in dunya, at the expense of our Lord, it becomes huge in our eyes. But when we focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and amending our relationship with Him, the biggest of calamities will all of a sudden shrink.